Well, I'm Janet Val Senior Veronica William Screes. <laughs> I came to England when I was just 20. I came to do nursing uh, and I've spent all these years in England. Now I'm 81, almost 82, so I've been here nearly 61 years. I came from St. Vincent. Um, I grew up with my parents and I am the first of 13 children. That must sound awful, but it's not. We had a really good childhood. Playing, fighting, doing all sorts of things. And um, when I was 10, I decided I wanted to do nursing. And I asked my parents if they can send me to England to do nursing. And daddy said, well, if you finish your education satisfactorily, you can do anything. I went to Birmingham to do my midwifery. And um, I did enjoy it. I didn't like midwifery, but I enjoyed being in Birmingham because we weren't so, we were in Selly Oak, not far from Cadbury's. And we had a great time. We used to go out. And there wasn't a restriction of you had to be in bed. You had to be in bed with, by 10 o'clock. Lights out at half past 10. And at my training school, they had so many, so many rules. We broke them all. <laughs> People said to me, how can you live in an all white place? I said, I didn't know <laughs> it was white. I didn't know Stockport was white. It just... What year was this? Um, 72. I said to them, I came up for a weekend and I couldn't see anywhere. I think Basil took me to the worst places in Manchester. And um, I asked him if he can get the phone number from the, the, uh, the person who did housing to students. And we got it and I phoned and I said, we need a house, but I haven't seen anywhere that I can my children can spend three years. Three years in the life of a child is a lot, I said. And she said, leave it with me, Mrs. Crease. And that's how we came to Hazel Grove. I joined victim support. I started the home watch scheme in this road. And there's so many things I did. I got on with them all especially the manager. And um, if she was too busy to go somewhere, she would send me. So I learned a lot as well in the community. And um, then it worked out that I was, um, you know, about racism. I was the lead. And the racism I met I don't know how those people, I don't know how they coped with it. I think you have to push it hard. You have to work hard with it. And <laughs> you have to work hard on our people as well. Because the black people in Stockport, I'm thinking of me, they didn't I didn't learn any geography. I learned geography and I know where Africa was. But I didn't learn any history about my background. So you have to learn that first. Because one lady said to me, 
you can take this out if you want one lady said to me um oh I had this group and I was taking them to um Liverpool I found up the um cathedral the Roman Catholic one to ask them if we could come and have a look around blah blah, blah. and um two weeks before we went I was finding out what they knew about slavery and this woman said to me Janet I'm no damn slave neither my parents she said they bring some people from Africa to Jamaica and everybody think everybody in Jamaica slaves I just said to her we'll go over it when we come back but don't speak too hard because people will laugh at you because everybody in um, Jamaica came from slavery 